ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 10th. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and let's take a look at some Skycam images and see what's going on outside. And it's kind of wet in Clanton, a little patch of rain moving through the central part of the state. And, of course, flooding still a major concern, and this is Demopolis as we look at the campground uh, on the Tom Bigby River there. And uh, the, the water very high, getting around those uh, RVs, uh, not a good sign. And, of course, this additional rain today, while we don't expect it to be a major factor, uh, it certainly will impact the river forecasts. And here's a look uh, from Mount Chiha as we look out over the, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's uh, if, if that's uh, Lincoln or if that's Talladega. But anyway, the lights of the city and uh, the visibility not nearly as good as it was yesterday. Cold front approaching us coming through the uh, middle Mississippi River Valley and down into Texas. And that front will be bringing us uh, some additional rain today uh, and into the evening hours. In the upper atmosphere, 500 millibar flow. We're certainly tapping into the moisture out of the Pacific. You can see the southwesterly flow over the southeastern United States. And as that trough comes by, that's going to be shaping things up for a uh, dip in the pattern and uh, certainly a colder week coming up ahead. But this morning, temperatures are very mild over the southern a third of the country in the southeastern part of the United States, but you can see that bitterly cold air up there with some minus 44 values. And when that breaks loose, it's going to get cold down here. Now, I'll show you the big picture here, and we can see the front uh, just to the west of Memphis this morning. Uh, notice the temperature 63 at Memphis and uh, back uh, at uh, looks like uh, Little Rock area already back or just to the, the uh, west of Little Rock back into the 40s. Uh, 43, so a very sharp contrast there. And, of course, closer to home, uh, temperature is very mild. We're in the 50s across central Alabama. Now, rain is uh, one of the issues. We do have a little patch of rain moving through. You can see the big picture here. And uh, it's kind of interesting, a fine line back there where that front is, uh, stretching all the way from extreme southeast Missouri down into southeast Texas. A little closer to home on the radar, uh, here's a look at the view, and uh, you can see that little patch of rain moving through. I think I got uh, .06 at my house. So still a uh, number of winter storm advisories in effect all the way from Iowa across the southern Great Lakes and the northern Ohio River Valley into uh, New England, and that's uh, causing a lot of travel problems up there. QPF-wise, as James noted yesterday, I thought the HPC forecast was a little bit high. Uh, they seem to be a little more in line with the heavier amount to the south of this, uh, Alabama or to the southern part of Alabama, excuse me, and I think that is true. Now, a possibility, uh, there's a brief window uh, this afternoon where we may see some uh, thunderstorms. And uh, the Storm Prediction Center not out looking a specific area for a slight risk, but the possibility exists for some isolated strong storms. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run. And here's uh, the surface map today. And we can see the colder air diving into the southern plains, into Oklahoma and north Texas, and uh, but the low pressure area coming out over the Ohio River Valley. Of course, that's going to be creating a mess across from uh, Chicago across to Boston as it... Uh, ejects out to the east-northeast, and that dr drags the front. You can see the front position just a little to the, uh, not quite into the northwest corner of Alabama just yet. All right, here's the 500 millibar pattern for Sunday, and uh, we can see our trough with a number of vorticity centers, so there's little impulses moving through the flow, which makes it a little difficult to time much in the way of precip. The front moves on into uh, the Gulf and into the Atlantic, and the cold air doesn't quite just dive down uh, just yet, so just hold your horses there. It will. Now, by Monday, the 500 millibar pattern is still showing a number of impulses, one uh, over the mid-Atlantic states and one coming uh, through Iowa uh, and just south of the Dakotas there. And uh, that, of course, uh, will probably have some moisture with it. Uh, the cold air is still not quite diving down. Monday is going to be still a cooler day. Uh, but now on Tuesday, the uh, trough begins to get its act together and deepens. And just, just follow back from Alabama and northern Alabama and see where you go. You go all the way back to the Yukon Territory, just following uh, those contours. And, of course, that means it's going to get colder. And I think uh, Tuesday we may see the possibility, we'll see some clouds, I'm sure, and maybe the possibility of a few snow flurries, especially from Birmingham northward. Uh, and then on Wednesday we dry out completely as a 1028 high settles in. 
Uh, but notice back there to the northwest, we've still got that large high uh, that is uh, going to be pumping colder air down here. The trough stays with us on Thursday. Uh, and this is when things begin to get a little more exciting because uh, uh, there is the possibility that we might see some wintry precipitation. Um, once again, it, there's not, it's, it's just not a sure bet. There's still a little lack of co complete confidence in here, uh, but certainly it's the possibility that we may have some moisture uh, and some very cold air. You see the 540 line, uh, which we use as a guide, is uh, dipping down to Birmingham. By Friday, it looks like the large high settles in over us and that, uh, and over the middle part of the country, and that should dry us out completely. But we continue to have this uh, long wave trough on Saturday over the eastern half of the country with these little impulses that are moving through the flow. You can see one there uh, on, in the vicinity of Chicago, and that may uh, have some moisture with it. But uh, down here in the southeastern U.S., we stay dry and relatively cold. Uh, by Sunday, a week from uh, Tomorrow, the uh, 500 millibar pattern still showing a, a sharply cold kind of pattern, uh, and so that looks like that's going to at least be, uh, stay with us into the beginning of next week. Now, going out into Voodoo Land, the pattern does uh, moderate, and J uh, James has been talking about the NAO uh, going positive, and it looks like that is going to happen. And with that, a moderation to the pattern, and of course, in the uh, at the surface, uh, you see the 540 line now, and again, we're using that as a guide. Uh, is way up into the Great Lakes area. By the end of the period, this is the 24th, uh, another pattern, uh, another uh, short wave coming through the flow, and that may bring another round of weather. So the bottom line is it does look like uh, we're going to be sharply colder this week and then uh, moderating for the following week uh, way out in voodoo. So stay tuned. Uh, this is certainly not an absolute forecast just yet, but we'll be watching it carefully. And we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed.